The device glowed in the corner, and my son was hunched over it. He had been in that position for more time than could have been comfortable. I flitted in and out of the room, hoping he would look up and maybe engage with me. With anyone. This lockdown had obviously gained my son some magnetic power that enables him to hold that device for this long. How does he do that? My shoulders and arms ache with the strain of using my device. Unsuccessful, I tug myself back to the kitchen, cleaning, chopping, sautéing. A lot of ink to do. Frazzled and sweaty mornings. I should be used to this by now. Today's kitchen forecast might be some green chutney splatter from my mixer that's been making this weird chugging noise. Dosas that refuse to leave the pan. Or will it be just bland, boring, burnt toast? I'm saying this because that's just how some days are. Everything goes wrong, like a domino's effect or something. And today, today I have gotten up late. I'm sure there's a philosophical theory around that. A lanky shadow looms over me. It's my son with his laptop. He grins at my shocked expression. He is definitely amused, though I have no clue why. My accidents are yet to happen. In his changing deep voice, Udbhav asks me where we keep the dal. His laptop is still droning. And I just realize it's a recipe. I see an animated chef extolling his mother's dal makhni. The way Udbhav holds the knife with ease, it seems as if he has done this before. Well, not much. Obviously, his interest in cooking is beyond cheering for his favorite participant in MasterChef Australia. I am excited to see what he's going to cook up. For today, I am a sous chef. 